morning everybody, I'm Martin Fawcett, I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Elbit Systems UK. Uh, we're based in 10 sites in the UK, we have about 500 people now uh, in our various subsidiaries and activities across the Air Force, the Army and the Navy in the UK uh, market. So we're here at DSCI with our exhibition which addresses all of those three domains. Uh, we have products which are relevant for future competitions and are also in service already with the UK military. So Elbit has uh, a world leading position on active protection systems as a result of many years of development of our own technology, uh, particularly in Israel. We now have been recently selected for active protection systems in the United States and also in Israel. So we're showing today on this vehicle behind me the active protection light system, which is suitable for the smaller vehicles for both tracked and wheeled, uh, which we'll be offering to the UK for their future requirements. We expect to announce shortly uh, that we're launching a test and trials program jointly with the UK uh, in order to understand the system in the UK context. Elvid is well known for its family of UAVs and we have a significant amount of expertise and many vehicles in service already. But of course the problem that many of these UAVs face is they're not integrated into a system. So our focus is on the UAV, on the payload and the sensors, but also on the integration of the UAV as a network of information systems into a command and control process and a command and control structure, which of course we also do as well in our C4I division. Okay, so we have uh, a complete suite of radio systems, networks, secure networks, and as you can see here, our soldier system, which includes uh, an integrated system for a ruggedized tablet, a ruggedized mobile phone in fact, uh, the watch system that you see here and also integrated with the weapon site so the soldier on the battlefield can have superb situational awareness and a great amount of information passed to him or her for their uh, understanding of where their own friendly forces are and where the uh, enemy are on a battlefield scenario. So it's crucial that uh, particularly in, in contested areas in urban environments for example that the battlefield scenario is available right down to the lowest level in the in the unit. This system enables that data to be shared both up and down the con command and control train. It's all networked so you can get information from UAVs, you can share the information you can see from your weapon site with other members of your squad or further up into the uh, platoon. So this is excellent technology for the modern battlefield. So this is a demonstrator of our technologies, our advanced enhanced vision technologies which are used on helicopters and of course on fixed wing aircraft as well. So Elbit is a world leader in the technologies to fuse together different sensors to get uh, a clear picture for the pilot in adverse weather conditions. Here you see our helicopter simulator which enables enhanced visual uh, cues to be provided in landing in uh, sand or snow or adverse weather conditions, fog, etc. So the pilot has much better situational awareness and can safely land the aircraft. Like everything, there is a cost dimension. I think our, our equipment represents normally very good value for money. We're certainly successful in comp competitions to be uh, providing this equipment to a number of air forces. And we've recently uh, managed to supply our Bright Night system to the Romanian Air Force, which has been announced recently. So we have a, a number of naval systems which we're offering uh, both our own uh, domestic market and also internationally. Uh, those range from electronic warfare systems to integrated unmanned surface vessels uh, to various other optical and electro-optic sensors. So the package for a ship is, uh, is quite extensive from the full range of Elbit technologies. With the acquisition of IMI, in uh, the, the end of last year, uh, Elbit's capability in this area enhanced significantly with uh, the facilities and the technology that they brought to the company. So we're now in a position where we have a capability across small caliber ammunition, artillery ammunition, and tank ammunition right up to more strategic weapons. So the Atmos is a self-propelled uh, howitzer. Uh, our development of the Atmos has just won the Israeli competition for the 155 gun. Uh, we're bringing it to the UK to be a potential choice for the UK competition which is about to launch uh, very soon and we hope to be able to offer our technology here uh, to the British Army. The capability of wheel vehicles now is sufficient normally for uh, a weapon of this sort. 
Uh, of course, the other uh, development is the automatic loading technology, which we are pioneering and have achieved very good results. So we're able to reduce the number of crew in a situation like this and to enable the ability to fire and then move very quickly with this self-propelled technology. We are developing a number of unmanned technologies for the land system uh, applications. We've recently shown uh, in an experiment in Israel our Carmiel system and we're now demonstrating that in the US. Uh, and this reduces the crew inside a vehicle. It gives much greater situational awareness while you're closed down inside uh, a combat vehicle and it enables you know, a significant advantage to be developed for the tactics on the battlefield for those sorts of vehicles.